Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and I got started a little bit late today because my wife had a little bit of car trouble, and so I had to deal with that this morning, but never fear, I'm ready to go, I've got my coffee, I, went to, I took my son to McDonald's uh, this morning, and I got myself a McDonald's coffee, and I am drinking it right now. Okay, let's start it off uh, with Bank XRP. At Bank XRP, he's an old school XRP community member and really smart. Need to give him a follow. SEC Live, we talked about this yesterday, but now they are um, actually having their forum. SEC Live, Distributed Ledger Technology. The SEC is hosting a FinTech forum to discuss distributed ledger technology and digital assets. Um, on May 31st at SEC headquarters in Washington, D.C. Um, and this is the link in his um, tweet here. But apparently they've gone live doing this. Okay, next, I've, I started following um, this guy, Sir, G Sir Gordon Gecko. Uh, and look, let me, I always give you the disclaimer. I'm not a chart guy. I don't do charts. But I, I find certain people interesting to follow that do do charts. And so this is not my prediction. <laughs> I, have to, I always have to give you that disclaimer. I am not um, saying that I predict whatever this person is predicting. I am saying that I like to show it to see, see how some of these people are thinking and what they're looking at and, and the different patterns that they notice. Um, so he says, um, Sir, Gord Sir Gordon Gecko, he says, XRP, USD. Here we go. And then he's got a link to his, um, he has one of these trading view um, accounts, I guess. And apparently what he calls this right here, he's XRP USD cup and handle still in place is what he says. He's got a, he's got a picture um, of this thing where like where it goes down to about where it is right now. And apparently that's an indication and he says it indicates the moon <laughs> pattern. Um, and then at the bottom here, he says, looks like it's following the formation. Fun weekend ahead. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. Um, okay, next. Um, this is from Bitru. And today, I've, I've, I've told you about this Power Piggy thing. And I've, I've put some, some holo chain in it. And then I've taken some holo chain out. And then I've put some in it. And then taken some out. So I've, I've just been kind of playing with it, but I in no way, in, t I, in no way am I telling you to, um, to you do the power of piggy program. I'm, I'm making, I wanted to explain, explain a little more about it so that you can see how upfront that these people are being about it. Um, I'm trying to show you how transparent that this company is being, but I am not telling you to go do it. You've got to do your own search and own research and look at all that. But, but today they announced that they are also adding Cardano to the program. And so look, I want to show you this. You can find out Ferdy at XRP Twin posted this blog. Who is the driving force behind Bitru? You have questions. I have answers. Read it in my newest blog, Curious Wang, the interview. Okay. So she, and then she's also got a thing down here where if you, it says find the Easter eggs in the blog, a couple of XRP community, community members are hidden. Find one of them, comment below, and Bitru will drop BTR in your account, all for mass adoption. Yes, you can create, uh, have Bitru account. Good luck. Okay, I wanted to show you her blog, and because in her blog, it's not her, I think this is a guy. I keep, I, I, for some reason, Ferdy, I always think, um, I'm always, I always assume that's a girl, but I think this is a guy, <laughs> XRP twin. But anyway, interviews Curious Wang, who's the CEO of Vitru, and then down here in it, the whole thing, they're talking about um, they're talking about this Power Piggy program. Okay, now I believe it's down here um, when they talk about it. To and the, the reason I want to show you this is because uh, there's a lot of people saying, "Oh, well, this 
uh, power piggy thing is a Ponzi scheme and, and this and this and this. This guy, uh, the 7.3% interest rate, what can we say about that? That is probably the hottest question I'll ask you, as many, many people ask about this. Ponzi, fake, um, that is where our money goes to what, where, why. Okay, well, they, they are very upfront about this thing in this article here. Everybody has an opinion about, so curious, please let this blog be the document showing the world whether it is real or that that sentence um, has ended right there. Spoiler alert, it is real. Today, the Power Piggy program is not sustainable. Whoa, Curious, please open that door. Okay, so my understanding, the way I read that is, Curious is saying today, the program is not sustainable. It is, at this moment, a marketing campaign. We resell, we resell our marketing budgets. It is, for the pe it is for people that support BitTru, so you, me, the XRP community. I get this question a lot, and no, at the moment, it is not sustainable. In other words, they have a marketing budget, and that's how they're funding the Power Piggy program. In other words, without uh, what they're doing, and you'll see in a second, um, they would end up ending the program, okay? Per, per day, there's a specific cap for the different cryptocurrencies that becomes available in a particular time window. You see a time going to zero, and within seconds, this is filled worldwide. I've seen it myself. It goes quick. Um, and then he says, so tell me, uh, Curious, but more info on the piggy. Funny thing, we hear a lot. Of, uh, we hear from a lot of users. They get up at night to join the program, but don't see their tokens currency filled. In crypto, you don't see a lot of interest projects. I wrote, uh, and let me go, okay. Well, the program is sustainable or can be made sustainable. This has everything to do with the release of, with the release of the BitTru coin, BTR. Users of the exchange will be able to increase the interest rate for the coins held in the Power Piggy program. This also will allow the program to increase the cap so more users will, be, will enjoy the benefits instead of just having their coins idle in their account. BitTru will have their own ecosystem. Next question derives from this. What if the bulls stop walking, start to crawl, eventually run? Is BitTru liquid enough, all those monies? What about a situation like that? Can you say something about that? Yes, I, yes, I think so. In the past 10 months, credits grew. Even, even today, BitTru grows very fast. Every, every day, thousands of new people register way bigger than six months ago. BitTru is going to turn into another label. So do th does this worry Curious? Curious, not at all. So Curious sipping on some cis water. Um, are you competitive enough for Binance and or Coinbase? Yes, we are. Okay, so what I get out of that entire thing, folks, and, and this is what you need to get out of it, is that this is purely being funded by uh, their marketing budget. And so, um, that, in, in my opinion, and, and, and now they're selling the BTR token and all. So, um, in essence, it is purely from money while things are good. And so, yes, you should be nervous about putting your money in, in something like this right this second, naturally. Okay? Um, that's why I've kind of gone in and out. Um, I do. I, I still. It's not just this program. I. I still am not comfortable. Really, that comfortable with with any of these interest programs right now, myself personally. But what what is what is good about this is that you are being told. Every they're being extremely clear with you. This is our marketing budget, more or less. Okay. This is not something where we're making money somehow on on your your digital assets that you're putting in the power of piggy and we're able to afford to do this. They're not telling you that at all. Okay. So, um, they're telling you it's more or less a benefit of being with them for right now. Okay. And that they're, that the BTR token will help fund it and maybe increase the marketing budget for it. Okay. That's what they're, they're, they're being very clear about that. Okay. This is not something like, like the way banks do it, where you 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 uh, are making interest and they're using your money to make money and it works like that, okay? So, I just wanted to make sure everybody understood that. It should be very clear to you, okay? So, um, you're, you're either willing to, um, you're, you're more or less betting that, in my opinion, you're betting that BitTrue 
is a really good company that is that is coming along and more or less I'm I'm what I'm doing if I put any money in this program I'm watching the company I'm watching the markets and I'm watching um, and I'm not putting a lot of my stuff in. I'm putting putting some of the digital assets that are just kind of extra stuff I have that's kind of how I'm looking at it I just want to make sure that's very clear but I'm in no way telling anybody to, to do this that's your own decision okay um, now I showed this and I heard other people showing this this is a tweet from yesterday um, and it's a big huge list of, of a bunch of accounts that were apparently created in 2013-2014 by Ripple or someone at Ripple and they have all kinds of huge bank names and different uh, names of big time companies okay um, I've given this a little thought and it, it, I think that there's a very large possibility that what this is um, these are like he says here wallets are mainly test demos I think that someone at Ripple probably at some point just uh, created a bunch of XRP accounts for imagine uh, because 2013 2014 Ripple was probably meeting with all sorts of banks and going to, to try to get meetings with banks and payment companies to present to them and so if I was going to a company to present let's say I was going I worked for Ripple and I was going to Bank of America to do a PowerPoint presentation for Bank of America well I would get my tech guys at Ripple to open a, an account put Bank of America's name on it so that I could do a demo in a PowerPoint presentation if I had to bet my money that's what all these wallets are so I just wanted to throw that out there okay XRP crypto wolf Insurance giants State Farm and USAA expect to go live this year with a blockchain to automate car claims processing since they are time consuming and paper heavy. Both firms are using real claims data and will go into production around the end of this year. You ask for adoption, I give you adoption. The insurance industry will be another huge industry for blockchain. Next from Peter Pumpkin Eater at Yes I'll Have Some sent me this article. Now we covered um, Vitze Vin and his XRPL labs, how they were developing Zion, and I think I'm saying that right, Zion, which is going to be like a banking app. It's like more or less, it's an app that is a bank without the bank. But I, there was a couple of interesting quotes in here that I wanted to read to you. Zion will deliver a user exper experience we know as online banking, not just crypto. So what it will allow you to do is check your balance and send your funds in any currency. We're not building a crypto wallet. We're building a banking app except without a bank. We're building a banking app based on a digital ledger based on the XRP ledger and based on ILP. Um, and then he goes on, um, it's not for geeks. We know that crypto wallets are not for everyone yet. Minimal technology, technical knowledge is still required. We're going to help users get started with a really secure, user-friendly setup guide in-app. It will be very easy and straightforward to use. Now, I've, this is so, something that I've said before on this channel, and I'll say it again. All the, uh, there will be a day when you and I will tell probably our kids, will say, yeah, when, when we first got into digital, when I first bought into XRP, um, they, they had these long serial numbers and that was your address and you would you would have this long serial number and a destination tag and then you would send it to another uh, you would you could send XRP to another if you had another um, long serial number and a destination tag we will be telling that and laughing about it down the road because it's not going to be like that I believe you'll have a username that works across digital assets across the interledger protocol I believe that's the type of thing to make these things user friendly that will be worked on by guys like VitaSaveN. I believe that's where all of this is going. Okay, next, Bond Crip at Bond Crip SBI Ripple Asia to trial store settlement service for XRP powered payments app Money Tap. Now, um, I'm going to open this article and just talk about it briefly. Just read you the first part. Um, this is um, okay right here SBI Ripple Asia a, Asia a subsidiary of Japanese financial services John SBI holding is launching a store settlement service affiliated with SBI holdings and ripples jointly developed consumer focused XRP powered payments app money tap 
I think this they made a mistake here. It is not XRP powered right now. That's my understanding. I've, it's RippleNet, which doesn't use XRP yet. Um, but it says, as previously reported, MoneyTap, which launched in the fall of last year, implements Ripple's blockchain solution X current to enable near instant domestic bank to bank remittance services. The new store settlement service reportedly intends to pave the way for the rollout of full scale in store payment services using MoneyTap by the end of the year. Now, I don't know if what they're saying here, I don't know if this is what they're saying here. I hope that what they're saying here is that the new settlement, the settlement, because when you hear settlement, that's when I think XRP. And I'm wondering if this is, is the thing that is going to take us to where they are using XRP on these, on these apps, because this is where it gets interesting, folks. Money tap aspires to eventually see a consortium of 61 Japanese banks representative of more than 80% of all of Japan's banking assets participate in the service and received in investments from 13 Japanese banks this March. S I've always said it. SBI is the XRP holders ace in the hole, folks. It will come from Japan if it comes from nowhere else. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that SBI is XRP holders ace in the hole. Thank you for listening.